Hello guys, I'm Reza Red, and in this video I'm going to explain to you how to use uh, Power BI and DAX functions to parse an organizational hierarchy or chart of accounts. So let's start. Uh, I have a Power BI uh, file here and this Power BI file I'm getting data from an AdventureWorks example. If you want to know where the AdventureWorks example is coming, have a look at uh, our website, Redicat website. There's a copy of AdventureWorks Excel file over there. You can download it and use it. Now in this file I'm using Dim Employee. Uh, Dim Employee, as you can see in this example, has uh, two columns, two main columns, an employee key and a parent employee key. Employee key usually points to uh, the current employee record and parent employee key, look at the record that that record has this employee. So employee number 18 should be down there somewhere which has another parent employee key. This is going like in a hierarchical design uh, order of uh, different columns. So uh, every person has a manager, that manager has another manager, and it goes all the way to the top level manager. What we want to do is uh, using DAX functions called parent child functions, we want to parse these uh, expressions and we want, to, uh, we want to parse this tree of hierarchies and we want to create that hierarchy in Power BI. So I'll, I will load this data into Power BI. Uh, once loaded, then we will uh, have a look at functions in DAX that are useful for this. So parent-child functions are functions that you can use for this kind of behavior to pass through, uh, to parse through a hierarchical path, uh, which is kind of the same in organizational hierarchy or chart of accounts. When actually you don't know how many uh, levels of, uh, of organizational level you have. I'll go to the data tab. This is my employee table. Uh, and in the employee table, I have different columns. Uh, what I want to do is I want to add a new column that goes through this um, hierarchy. So I'll go through a modeling exercise. I go through modeling exercise and I create a new column here. I'm creating a column because I want to do this expression one row at a time. So I'm creating a column which I would call it as path and I'm using a function in DAX called path. Path and other functions that you see in this list, these are called as uh, parent-child functions. These are functions that are helpful in this kind of hierarchy, in this kind of hierarchy. So path has two inputs. The first input is the ID of the current record, which is employee key obviously. And the other key is parent uh, key, which is again, parent employee key. A very simple function to use, but very useful. As soon as I use this function, so I pass the current key and the employee key, as soon as I use it, then I will have the new column created. And that new column basically has all the organizational paths in it. So this shows that the current employee is employee number one. Manager of that is employee number 18. Manager of that is employee number 23. Manager of that is employee 112. And as you can see, 112 is the manager of all employees. That's like the top level manager. So basically just the path function by itself will give you the entire hierarchy. However, this by itself is not um, good enough to pass that hierarchy uh, to Power BI and start doing analysis with that. You have to have separate columns for each level of management. You have to create these, col these number of columns. But first, you need to know how many uh, levels of organizational hierarchy you got. Sometimes you know that you have like five levels of management, four levels of management, but sometimes you don't. Like this example, we don't know how many levels of management we got. We have to count the number of levels we have here. Another column that you can, another function that you can use here, which is quite useful as well, is a column called path lens. Path lens is another parent child function, uh, which I can use it. And all I need to do is pass just the uh, output of the path function. We created a column with that output, which is the employee path. So I will pass it and I will call this column as path length. 
path length is also quite simple function. All of these parent-child functions are simple, but very effective actually the way that <clears throat> we can use it. Now, if I go to this column created at the end, I can see the number of levels I've got like here, I have four levels of management. So it is four. If I have like three or five, I will have three or five. Now I want to know what is the maximum level of this value that I got. I can create a measure that give me the maximum level, but because I'm in Power BI, so it is even much easier. I'll just go to a report. I will bring this path lens here into a card visual. And I just change the aggregation of that instead of sum to be maximum. So this basically is showing that I have five levels of management in this data. So let's now build that uh, management level, uh, different levels here. <clears throat> I'll go back to the data tab. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot create columns uh, dynamically, like five levels of uh, five different columns dynamically. You have to create them one by one. So let's create the first one. I'll create the first one with a function, which is again a parent-child function, and the function name is path item. Path item is a function that will give you an item in a path. And similar to that, we also have path item reverse. So it depends on if you want to start from the highest level, you use path item. If you want to start from the lowest level, you use path item reverse. Okay, so I will use path item. You have to pass uh, a number of uh, parameters here. The first parameter you have to pass is um, what is your path column, which we already have a path column. We created that at the very first step. The position. Position is an index starting from one. So one when I use path item means the top level manager. One when I use path item reverse means the current employee. Depends on which one. In this case, it is it means um, top level manager. And the data type of the output, you can choose if you want the output to be text format or um, number format. In this case, because I want to use this ID later on to look up for that employee, I'm using an integer. One means that I'm returning an integer. And I would call this one organization level one. Okay, so this is organization level one column. I have created it. And if I look at the column itself, this should give me the top level manager. So this value that you can see, 112, is the top level manager from the path column, as you can see. If I have used path item reverse, this would have returned me the lowest level, which was the current employee. Okay, now this um, 112 is mm, obviously, uh, a num a ID of the employee, which is top level manager, but I don't want the ID of that person. I want, let's say the name of that person. There are different ways that you can fetch the name when you have the ID. One of the easiest way of doing that is lookup value function. I can use lookup value and look up this value into the same table to get the full name of that employee. However, before doing that, uh, in this uh, table, I do not have a full name column for employee. I just have first name and last name. So what I'll do is I will create a column, first name, concatenated last name, which is quite simple calculation column. I'll create a new calculated column. And that would be first name concatenated with a space, last name. And I would call this one full name. Okay, I have created my full name column. Now is the time to go back to organizational level one expression and look up uh, for that person name, right? We already have this ID, which is the ID of the person. I have to pass it inside a lookup value. So lookup value is a function that you can use easily. All you need to do is first pass what is the output column you want. The output column that we want is full name, obviously. That is the output. And what is the column that we are searching into? We are searching in the employee key. So I'll search for employee key. And what is the value that we are searching? The value that we are searching is coming from path item. So that is the value I'm searching. Uh, 
close that bracket and this should give me the name of person who is the top level manager as you can see here Ken Sanchez seems to be a top level manager in this scenario so a combination of lookup value and pass item gave me the name of that person in that level now all you need to do you have to do this for five different columns as i said this part cannot be unfortunately created dynamically you cannot create dynamic columns here and dax you have to create them one by one so i'll create another column all you need to do this time is to just rename the column to level two obviously and the position now you want the manager level two This should be done for uh, five different columns. So I'll do that for the next column. And this process will give you the full list of column names in, uh, full list of columns for this organizational hierarchy in Power BI. So, Organizational level three, position three, then another column, which is level four and position four, and then the last one. This method can be used in organizational hierarchy or it can be used in chart of accounts. Both of these has the same scenario. Any actually hierarchy that you have a number of uh, like uh, levels going through only two columns, employee key and parent employee key can be done with this one. Now I can go to the report tab and I can create a hierarchy with these five columns just before creating that let me show you how does it look like in the data tab in the data tab here you can see that these are the five levels of management level one two three four five i have mistakenly created a column over there so that give you the entire hierarchy now you can uh, use this hierarchy in any visualization scenario you have if you are dealing with hierarchy one of the custom visuals one of the good custom visuals that um, i think is really useful is a hierarchy slicer will give you ability to slice and dice based on the hierarchy uh, you can get the custom visual from marketplace if you just search for hierarchy you should be able to find the hierarchy slicer. It's an easy custom visual to use. You just basically put your hierarchy in there. It is better to create a hierarchy from these five columns rather than just adding them one by one, uh, which I will show you in a minute how to create a hierarchy. I just put these one by one over here for now. And here now you can see that we have the hierarchy Ken Sanchez and managers under that. Every manager again has another uh, level of people reporting to him and this hierarchy goes on and on. So you have created the hierarchy. Good thing about hierarchy slicer is that you can select the whole uh, section of a hierarchy or you can select only one person. And you can do any analysis you want based on that. Now, um, there are some other functions in path uh, set of path functions like path item reverse uh, which i already explained it and path contains path contains is very useful option when you want to implement a row level security dynamic row level security based on this organizational hierarchy i have written a blog post about that and i'm going to create a video to explain that later on as well so thank you for watching this video. If you are interested to learn more about Power BI, go and check Radicat website. I have written a Power BI uh, book. You can download it and subscribe our YouTube channel. You can watch more Power BI videos here anytime you want. Thank you.